Hey everybody, it's Amy with Doodles for Love. This is Miss Gwen, and I'm just going to show you a really quick, easy way of doing a groom. It's people are get a little intimidated by trying to groom their dogs, and there's really no reason to be intimidated. It's pretty fast and easy, and you start with the bath and then you make sure that they are good and dry the the trick is to make sure that they don't get all dirty again before you are ready to crimp to uh to trim them because they like to go find the, the spot in the dirt right i like to start with the feet i like the ceramic let's see how that's going to hold on their feet it's not like it. Stop. Sometimes if they're not cooperating, I just go the other direction. And notice it's not so tight to the skin because it is that seven and this is a ceramic. And so what that means is that this blade, the cutting blade right here is ceramic and it stays cooler. So it's nicer, it's just nicer for them and nicer for you. So Gwen doesn't mind being groomed other than her paws, which is pretty normal for all of them. They don't, they just don't like the vibration. But you can see, you can see, come here, come here. So you can see the difference in the length between her two front legs and notice that it's not so short that it is naked and so it's just a really that's a number seven a seven c a seven f c so um the seven is the the thickness of the blade and the the c is the ceramic anyway so that is her legs and so i'll go ahead and um, get all of them finished up and we'll come back Hey guys, it's Amy with Doodles for Love. So you know how in the last video I was telling you that I don't like to use what's called combs? Depending on the dog's hair texture is whether I have good luck with combs or not. And Miss Belle, her hair is, um, it's kind of, it's more wavy than it is curly. And so I can put a comb on the clippers and I can get through it. So I'll show you what that looks like. She doesn't like her hair cut all too much. You can kind of see where I've started to cut her hair. And you have to go, I have to go pretty slow just to get those clippers through the hair. And then, you know, you definitely have to go back and um, even it out, just, just the nature of of grooming, probably with any haircut, you know, you got to go back and even it out. Anyway, these combs with this sort of a hair texture does pretty good. And so you can kind of see her hair, um, it's not overly, it's just not overly curly and it's not overly thick. And so that's where I have pretty good luck with, um, with using the combs and it just makes it so that you can have uh, a little bit a little bit taller you know not quite so cropped down haircut and then it just goes right through it and you can see that makes it pretty good and even. Anyway, 
so that is me using a comb to do a clip. Now, when you put the comb on, the blade that I have on is a number 10. It's the one that, that comes with the clippers generally when you buy them. And um, because it, it's flat enough that it will fit that comb in there without any problem. And this particular, let's see if I can read. This is a, this is a number two. And she's got, you know, she's got quite a bit of, of hair and you can see, I mean, there's still some spots that are a little bit uneven and I'll go back and even those out, but at least it gives you, so you don't, mostly so you don't get so that you have, like if they move, um, you can get, like they have a naked spot and we don't want that. So this is just a nice way to have an even cut without the chance of cutting too close, getting too close to their skin. And most of my dogs, they will let, like they like the attention of the haircut, so it's not, it's not that big of a deal. But if it is, I tend to give them some CBD or something ahead of time so that, um, it calms them down so they're not being all upset over the it's mostly the sounds of the clippers just like little kids who you know don't like the sounds of, of clippers and you notice i'm still up at that top you know kind of reaching that skull which is right here and then coming bringing the, the clippers at an angle What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Wanna stand up? All right. So that's not that's not bad. That's not bad, huh? That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. And so I will show you the video when we get to the end and show you what she looks like. So I want to show you when I do um, the front of a pup that I like their hair to be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna come at an angle over their eyes and angle that down just, just like a hairdresser does, you know, when they're trying to get a different, a different angle on your hair. Okay, look. Look, look at the camera. Look, look this way. And so then you can see it kind of tilts it back up that way. And then I can look at it and see, you know, where I need to come a little bit better or more at a, more at an angle. And then I like to comb through it because that unclump, unclumps it so you can actually see what, um, you know, separates the hair, I guess is, would be a, another way of saying that. And then I can kind of see what, where I'm not even. Let's see, baby. Let's see. Oh, let's see. And then I haven't got, you keep going against the wall. I haven't got against the, the bridge of her nose yet, but you can, oh my goodness. Look, you can kind of see that angle on the top of her, on the top of her head. Yeah, that's a pretty good view.